machine so you're stuck in the middle part i guess we're stuck in between life is so little yeah and i don't know what it means no I hope the Easter penguin, I mean the Easter bungle, bunny came your way and uh, you've had a lovely few days and we're back into the grind now. Grace Copeland from Harcourt's Homewood in our Island office. She's always working tirelessly hard and again on this occasion she's been working very hard at 26 Hare Street in Island and uh, has generated an offer that's been presented to our owner who has deemed it acceptable in each and every regard. So the reason we are here ahead of schedule was because of that, that the property has reached an agreement where yes, it will be sold, but not before you good people have your chance to compete, your chance of ownership here at 26 Hare Street. Here yesterday, but gone today. So we wish you the very, very best, and uh, we're wishing Sue a great, a great outcome as well, and I'm sure you deem it already has been. Now, folks, uh, just as I will introduce Simon Hollander, who's, who's our manager at Islam, and uh, has the uh, easy task of looking after Grace on a daily basis, um, and she makes it easy for him. Gosh, you're doing great business at the moment, Grace. So a warm welcome here. Laura's on the controls, and she's running us through um, the technology here today. So you know most of the important players. I'm just going to run through the rules of auction. They are slightly different for an auction that's been brought forward for the main reasons that the reserve price has already been met. And so that means I won't be vendor bidding. You'll be pleased to know that. I'm pleased as well, really. And we won't be pausing to negotiate because of that reserve having been met. The property will be sold whilst I stand here. But without a hammer, I wonder if there's one um, just down there, Laura, is there a mallet? I'm also just going to quickly um, welcome people who are watching us on the Homewood website. We stream our auctions live. And we mainly do that at 10 a.m. on Wednesdays, but great to see everybody in Cyberland uh, tuning in to today's exciting auction. Like I say, the reserve's been met, so it takes away those, um, those circumstances that we would have in a general auction. I can still, well actually, I'm going to leave it up to you to nominate the sum by which bidding's increased. I still reserve the right to refuse any bid, but it's up to you, so good luck for your bidding strategy today. You look like a nice, reasonable crowd, but if there is any disputes, I'm the one that gets to determine those, and we'll just resume bidding after that has taken place. Welcome to uh, some of our licensed colleagues from around the network. I see Lisa Wong there, there's Yu Ting Yin. Uh, good to see Ali Buker here too, supporting Grace from the office, Johnny Nichols and Reese Llewellyn from Harcourts as well are here to bid for their buyers, so you know all those players. Uh, and really the final thing I'll tell you is that when we do hear this lovely noise, and we will, uh, you, if you've not done so already, all your obligations are so simple at auction, but significant. Just to formalise that sale, it means a signature on this agreement forming a contract, uh, and we'll ask for a deposit today, just 10% of the purchase price, and an acknowledgement that you received a copy of our Residential Sale and Purchase Agreements Guide. Laura's going to bring up some images of the property here in Hare Street. I better watch that one. At number 26, now we, that's what us in the postie know it is, but your legal advisor would have confirmed that it is a freehold title. Lot 89, deposited plan 14466 in the Canterbury Land Registry, comprising an impressive section at 809 square metres. We're going to guarantee you vacant possession on this date that I'm about to read to you because it has been altered from the original draft agreement. That date, and I know Grace Copeland has made it um, patently obvious to you all, is the 28th of April 
2021, so some three and a bit weeks from today. Now, is everybody comfortable with that date? If you've pre-arranged pre -arranged one with the owner in writing, then that's, that's okay as well, but that is the new date that we're working to. Lovely entrance to the home. You can see it right there. Uh, it's words like solid, robust, and uh, I would say giving you confidence is what you want to hear when you're sizing up your property decision because you can take a lot of confidence from here. Love the weatherboard look, tile roof, and uh, it's just an open plan, an open canvas for you to stamp your mark on the proceedings and prescribe your own mind, make it your very, very own. Lovely orientation for the sun, northwest, lovely outdoor areas, both front and, and rear of the property, big living, great bedrooms, they're all of a good size too and just the chance for you to make your mark. It's close to the education precinct of Canterbury, and I think that comes from a pre, primary, secondary, and tertiary level, so that's always going to underpin the value of this particular property. It's a great neighbourhood, it's quiet, no thoroughfare on Hare Street, and uh, close to that upper Rickerton domain too should give you confidence. Grace, I think that's probably enough from our, from our team, but one thing I would like you to do is to in a loud voice, tell us the amount of the offer that's been accepted for 26 Hare Street. Thank you, Mark. Uh, so the opening offer today is 700000 700 neat. There we have it. It's $700,000. I expect you might boom in with a big 50 here and now, but at 700000 what are we going to say? Property's on the market and I sell. 700000 What about 5000 Otherwise, I'm selling it away. Here for now, but gone very, very soon. I tell you that. 26 Hare Street, 700,000 first call. Second call, Danny Lou. Third call, team. What's the strategy? 1,000 could do it. 26 Hare Street. Yu Ting, you're always in there with a chance. 705. Is there a response from there? Do we go to 17? 705. Someone agrees with the value level here, what's our response to be? We'll just race to 17, but the quicker the better. 705 first call. Try two and a half. Third call, 705, even a thousand. Even a cheeky half, 705. 707, welcome in, sir. 707, there's your competition. Front and center. Surety, 17, Yu Ting, 12, 7 the dozen, sir, 7 1 2, 7 12, Yu Ting, over to you. You're welcome to com compete, welcome to participate at any stage. At 7 1 2, first call. Island's the place to be, second call. 7 18. 7 18, good on you, sir, at 7 1 8. Chipping on the three at 718. Love to see what's happening in Canterbury and Christchurch with all our properties finally realising better value. Are we still affordable? I think so. It's 718 and we are here too. First call, second, third call. 718. 720, good on you. 722. 700 and the two swans swimming at 722. 1,000. 722,000, you'll do your shopping at the best new world in town. 725. 727. 727. Good effort here at 727 with Lisa's buyer. 727. It's a nice move, you think. 732. 7.32, it's a great campaign by Grace Copeland at 7.32, but has come to an end. We've got another chance for you, sir. Too early for the, not, too early for the shake of the head, I would have thought at 7.32. First, second, third call. Is there late money over here at 7.32, otherwise 26 Hare Street is going. Certainly going. Late bids. Chances running out, property's going, going. Uton, property is... Go on and sold to your buyer. Congratulations. <laughs> 732,000. Well done. Congratulations to the purchaser. Thank you for your bidding and competition. Grace, excellent job, and th thanks for presenting it. Sue, all the best. Thank you, Laura. See you back here on Wednesday. <laughs>